right, it's the after show with Jane Fonda. Jane's new book is called What Can I Do? My Path from Climate Despair to Action. Um, Jane, we got a bunch of viewer questions for you. Uh, PC Daryl wants to know what your memories of Studio 54 are back in the day. There's, there's a picture of you, Michael Jackson, the village people, and Bruce Jenner that he particularly once is interested in. Do you remember that night? I don't believe that I was in Studio 54 ever with that collection of people. I mean, I knew them all, but I don't I don't remember ever going there. I, I, I didn't like those scenes too much. I, I don't know why. I just, I never, I only went twice and I didn't like it. Wow. Um, you didn't, uh, you, you were, you were good buddies for Michael Jack, with Michael Jackson oh, for, yeah. for a good period of time, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I was. He, uh, when I was making coming home, not coming home on golden pond up in, in New Hampshire, he came and lived with me for, for about a week, you know, in the same home, <laughs> he slept on a mattress that he pulled out on the floor of the living room. I slept in a loft up, upstairs and, um, yeah, I found him very touching, a very interesting character. I, I, I knew him pretty well. I went to his house a lot. He came over to my house a lot. Wow. Did you know him in his later years? Were you in touch with him in, in the later years of his life? No, when I really knew him best was um, around the time that he made Bad. It was before Thriller. I skinny dipped with Got him. It. How about that? Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. Jane, Elena O'Keefe wants to know how involved you were in selecting the music for your iconic workout album and if you still own The Leotard. I think I've auctioned off The Leotard quite a while ago, and um, I was pretty involved in it, in putting together. I think I know what she's talking about. Yeah, I, I was pretty involved. Yeah. Um, Evan Ross Katz tweeted us, Evan Ross Katz, and wanting to know your reaction to a recently resurfaced video of you champion, championing, championing LGBTQ plus rights during uh, San Francisco's White Night riots following the murder of Harvey Milk. Um, you, this, this went viral all over Twitter recently. What do you remember about that time and what inspired you to uh, speak out and get involved at that time. Yeah, I don't believe that it was at, during the White Nights. I was pretty close to Harvey Milk, and I, I, I would not have been smiling like that if it had been right after Harvey Milk was uh, was was killed. I don't think. But I went there quite uh, often. Uh -huh. I would I would fundraise a lot with Harvey Milk. And um, well, I'm glad I like it because what I said then is what I'm saying now. You can't do anything as individually. We have to come together, get out of our silos, you know, the women's silo here, the gay and lesbian silo here, the climate silo here. We have to get rid of those silos and join together in huge numbers to make to make this world right. And um, yeah, I knew it then and I know it now. Mark N. wants to know, uh, what do you remember about getting your portrait and Polaroid done by Warhol? Do you have all um, all the copies of the Warhol uh, silkscreen of you? Well, he does a lot of them, and he tries, you know, he takes the picture, and then he plays with it in many, many, many different ways. Then he chews yeah. one of them that becomes, he makes a hundred prints of that. And the reason he did it, I asked him to do it so that we could sell the prints, the hundred prints to support my then husband, Tom Hayden Senate campaign. And so we did, and it raised a lot of money. And I think, and I have the artist prints, which are the ones that are different than the hundred prints. Yes. And they're and some of many I have sold at auctions and I have about nine of them here in the house. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. Um, T Steph 0533 wants to know what drives you to keep fighting even when it seems hopeless? Oh, because it's not hopeless. 
because people are changing. You know, over the years as an activist, I have experienced myself personally, but witnessed other people profoundly change. And as long as people can change and be willing to stand up, there's hope. And uh, and so I'm very, I am hopeful. That's great. Uh, Hannah W. said, what, what was your reaction at the time to the rumors that Will Smith wanted to remake 9 to 5 with an all-black cast? And do you think that's worth revisiting? Seems like a great idea. You know, Jada Pinkett Smith was going to be in the movie, and it just never happened. You know, it's hard to get, to make, do a remake, you know, to get the script right. We have tried, we, Dolly, Lily, and me, have tried to get a... A, a sequel done to it, but we couldn't get a, a script right. Wow. It deserves to have well, a remake, though. Yeah, for sure. Well, Jane, the book is called What Can I Do? My Path from Climate Despair to Action. It's out now. Thank you for all of your activism thank and you. thank you for hanging out with us again. Love to talk to you and love to see you. Be healthy uh, and stay safe. You too, Andy. Thanks an awful lot. Stay safe. Thank you. For more, click around BravoTV.com, everybody.